Good morning, everyone. My name, myself, Rahul Bhardwaj, and my topic is psychotropic drug blood level estimation and their adequate doses. My moderator is Dr. Anusha. First, we will talk about psychotropic medication. The psychotropic medication is a psychoactive drug taken to exert an effect on chemical makeup of brain and nervous system. Thus, these medications are used to treat mental illness. Classification of psychotropic drugs. These are classified into first antidepressant, which treat desperate disorders such as clinical depression, dysthymia, <coughs> anxiety disorder, eating disorder, and borderline personality disorder. Example of antidepressant are fluoxetine, peroxetine, and citalopram. Second, antipsychotics. These are used to treat psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia and psychotic symptoms occurring in the context of other disorders such as mood disorder. They are also used for treatment for bipolar disorder. Example of antipsychotics are haloperidone and clozapine. Third, anxiolytic. These are used to treat anxiety disorder and include hypnotics and sedatives. Examples are alprazolam and jolpidine. Or mood stabilizer, these are used to treat bipolar disorder and schizoaffective disorder. Examples, lithia. Stimulants, which are used to treat disorders such as attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, and narcolepsy. Example, methylphenidate. Blood level estimation of psychotropic drugs. Before taking a blood sample for plasma concentration assay, make sure that the following criteria are satisfied. First, clinically useful assay method. Only a minority of drugs have available assay. The assay must be clinically validated and result available within a clinically useful time scale. Check with local laboratory is beneficial for patient and doctor both. Second, study state. Plasma level are usually meaningful. Only when samples are taken after steady state level have been achieved. Third, correct time of sampling. Sampling is vitally important for many drugs. If the recommended sampling time is say 12 hours post date, then samples should be taken 11 to 13 hour post dose if possible. 10 to 14 hour post dose is if absolutely necessary. Target range of plasma level. Target range of plasma level from sample taken at the right time will usefully guide the dose. If there is not an accepted target range, plasma level can only indicate adherence or potential toxicity. Plasma level of zero indicates that drug has not been taken in past several days. Reason for plasma level determination. Only the following reasons are valid to confirm compliance if toxicity is suspected, if pharmacokinetic drug interaction is suspected, if clinical response is difficult to assay directly, if drug has a narrow therapeutic index and toxicity concern is, are considerable. Interpreting sample result. The basic rule for sample level interpretation is to act upon assay. Results only in conjunction with reliable clinical observation. Treat the patient, not the level. For example, if a patient is responding adequately to a drug but has plasma level below the accepted target range, then the dose should not normally be increased. If a patient has intolerable adverse effect but a plasma level within the target range, then dose decrease may be appropriate. Where a plasma level result is substantially different from previous results, a repeat sample is usually advised. These are some drugs with target range. First, lithium. Target range is 0.6 to 1 millimole per liter. 0.4 millimole may be sufficient for some patients. Indication more than 1 millimole per liter required for many. Sampling time 12 hours. 
time to reach a steady state five day post use a fairly recent study suggests 0.6 millimole was the minimum level for prophylactic olanzapine their target dose is 20 to 40 microgram per liter sampling time is 12 hour and time to reach steady state is one week peliperidone target range is 20 to 60 microgram per liter sampling time rough, rough means minimum amount of drug in plasma time to reach steady state 2 to 3 days oral 2 month before target range is same as that of established for resveratrol anitoin 10 to 20 mg per liter is the target range sampling time of time to reach steady stage is variable follow zero order dietic pre level may be useful in some circumstances cotiapine around 50 to 100 microgram per liter is the target range sampling time of time to reach steady stage is 2 to 3 days oral target range poorly defined plasma level monitoring not recommended Resveratrol target range is twenty to sixty microgram per liter. Drug two to three days oral and six to eight week injection. Routine plasma level monitoring is not recommended. Tricyclic norepinephrine target range is fifty to one fifty microgram per liter and amitriptyline target range is hundred to two hundred microgram per liter. Sampling time for. Two to three days. They use they reach their steady state. They are used ECG to assess toxicity. Well, proic target range is fifty to hundred milligram per liter. Use used in epilepsy and bipolar disorder. Sampling time is tough. They are reach their steady state two to three days. some starting doses of commonly used psychotropic drugs first antipsychotics like aripiprazole starting dose is 2 mg clozapine 6.25 to 12.5 mg use plasma level to determine maintenance dose colanzapine 2.5 to 5 mg dose are adjust according to response and adverse effect quetiapine 25 mg Effective dose usually in the range 150 to 200 milligram daily. Resveratrol starting dose is 0.25 to 2 milligram. Adjust dose according to response and adverse effect. Second antidepressant, fluoxetine, 5 to 10 milligram per day is the starting dose, and dose are ad adjust according to response and adverse effect. Sertraline, 25 to 50 milligram daily. Effective dose usually In a range between 50 to 100 milligram daily, citalopram starting dose is 10 milligram daily, and the effective dose 10 to 40 milligram. Lithium 100 to 200 milligram per day of lithium carbonate. Use plasma level to determine maintenance dose. Well, provide 10 to 20 milligram per kg per day in a divided dose. Melatonin. 2 mg at night active doses 2 to 10 mg my reference is the medicinal prescribing guideline in psychiatric 14 edition and goodman and gilman the pharmacological basis of therapy 11th edition thank you Good morning, everyone. I am Poonam Nagar, and today I'll be presenting on the topic effect of psychotropic drugs on sleep and their preferred time of administration. And my moderator is Dr. Arpita Nikhil. A psychoactive drug or psychopharmaceutical psychoactive agent or psychotropic drug is a chemical substance that changes functions of the nervous system and results in alteration in perception, mood, consciousness, cognition, or behavior. classification there are five main types of psychotropic medication antidepressants anti anxiety medications stimulants antipsychotics and mood stabilizers 
process is regulating sleep. The sleep wake cycle is mediated by two opposing drives, homeostatic sleep drive or circadian wake drive. The circadian wake drive is a result of input light melatonin activity to the su suprachiasmatic nucleus of the hypothalamus, which stimulates the release of oragin to stabilize wakefulness. Homeostatic sleep drive is a dependent on the accumulation of adenosine, which increases the longer one is wake, awake and decreases with sleep. Accumulated adenosine leads to disinhibition of the ventrolateral perioptic nucleus and thus the release of GABA in the tubulomammillary nucleus to inhibit wakefulness. As the day progresses, a circadian wake drive diminishes and the homeostatic sleep drive increases until a tipping point is reached. Sleep itself consists of multiple phases that recur in a cyclical manner. This process is known as ultradian cycle. Promote wakefulness, noradrenaline, serotonin, acetylcholine, histamine, glutamate, origin, dopamine. Neurotransmitters that promote wakefulness, drugs which contract the uh, these neurotransmitters uh, can promote sleep. Promote sleep, GABA, melatonin, adenosine. Neurotransmitters or hormones that promote sleep. Uh, drugs which enhance or mimic the activity of these neurotransmitters promote sleep. Uh, arousal spectrum of sleep and wakefulness. Deficient arousal, asleep, excessive daytime sleepiness or drowsiness or sedation. Cognitive dysfunction under, under stimulation or inattentive. Excessive arousal, uh, hypervigilant insomnia, cognitive dysfunction, overstimulation, panic or fear, or hallucinations or psychosis. Targets of psychotropic drugs. There are, uh, there are only a few major sites of action for the wide expanse of psychotropic drugs utilized in clinical practice. A. Approximately one third of psychotropic drugs target one of the 12 uh, transmembrane, uh, transmembrane region transporters for a neurotransmitter. Another third target, seven transmembrane region receptors coupled to G proteins. C, the remaining third of psychotropic drugs target enzymes. D, four transmembrane region ligand gated ion channels. E, six transmembrane region voltage sensitive ion channels. Benzodiazepine positive uh, GABA A positive allosteric modulators. The mechanism of action of benzodiazepines at GABA A receptors as positive allosteric modulators. These drugs presumably act to treat insomnia by facilitating GABA neurotransmission in inhibitory sleep circuits arising from the hypothalamic VLPO. Benzodiazepines binds to only some GABA A receptors. For these drugs, the degree of sedation is generally correlated with the plasma level. Uh, rapidly absorbed drugs are useful for in initial insomnia. More slowly absorbed drugs may be useful for middle of the night insomnia. They should be taken at bedtime so that the peak sedative effect coincides with the period of wakefulness in the night. Pharmacokinetics of commonly used benzodiazepines and Z drugs. If the patient only has initial insomnia with no difficulty maintaining sleep, shorter half, uh, shorter half life drugs are good choice. If they have difficulty with sleep maintenance or both sleep initiation and sleep maintenance, then the longer half life drug may be better. Longer half-life drugs have the potential to cause daytime sedation and uh, should be avoided if this sedation is undesirable. Because benzodiazepines can cause long-term problems such as loss of efficacy over time, tolerance and withdrawal effects, including rebound insomnia in some patients, that is worse than their original insomnia. They are generally considered second-line agents for use as hypnotic drugs. Z drugs, GABA A positive elastoric modulators. Another group of GABA A positive elastoric modulator drugs, sometimes called Z drugs, because they all start with the letter Z, zoliplone, zopidem, zopiclone, are also prescribed for their hypnotic effects. Z drugs binding differs from benzodiaz uh, benzodiazepine binding at the elastoric site of GABA A receptors. Some Z drugs do bind selectively to alpha 1 subunits of benzodiazepine sensitive GABA A receptors. By contrast, by benzodiazepine binds to four alpha subunits, alpha-1, alpha-2, alpha-3, and alpha-5. The alpha-1 sub, alpha subunit is known to be critical for producing sedation and thus is targeted by every effective GABA-8 PAM hypnotic, both benzodiazepine and Z drugs. Histamine-1 antagonist as hypnotics. It is well known that the antihistamines are sedating. Antihistamines are popular as over-the-counter sleep aids, especially those containing diphenhydramine, benetol, or doxylamine. Diphenhydramine is a histamine 1 receptor antagonist commonly used as hypnotic. However, this agent is not selective for H1 receptors, thus can also have additional effects. Specifically, 
Diphenhydramine is also an M1 receptor antagonist and thus can have anticholinergic effects like blood vision, constipation, memory, prob memory problems, dry mouth. Antihistaminergic drugs are generally long acting and may produce their peak sedative effects some time after the peak plasma levels. They can therefore be useful in the treatment of middle of the night insomnia or early, early morning waking. Antidepressants. When there is a comorbid insomnia and depression or anxiety, there is a strong case for using sedative antidepressant at antidepressant doses to treat both conditions with a single dose, with a single drug. Toxipine is a uh, tricyclic antidepressant that uh, at antidepressant doses 150 to 300 milligram per day inhibits serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake and is antagonist at H1, M1 and alpha-1 adrenergic receptors. At low doses, 1 to 6 mg per day, however, doxepin is quite selective for H1 receptors and thus may be used as a hypnotic. Dual or exogen receptors antagonist, ORAS. The ORAS at both origin uh, 1 and 2 receptors block the vague stabilizing effects of the origins, especially at the origin 2 receptors. By blocking orexin receptors and particularly orexin 2 receptors, DORAS prevent orexin from promoting the release of other weight promoting neurotransmitters such as histamine, acetylcholine, norepinephrine, dopamine, and serotonin. After administration of DORAS, arousal is no longer enhanced and wakefulness is no longer stabilized by orexins and the patient goes to sleep. Both suverexant and lamborexant improve not only the initiation but also the maintenance of sleep and do so without the side effects. Is expected of a benzodiazepine or Z-drug hypnotic, namely lacking uh, dependence, withdrawal, rebound, unsteady gait, false confusion, amnesia, or respiratory depression. Non-pharmacological treatments for insomnia, relaxing training, stimulus control therapy, sleep restriction therapy, intensive sleep retraining, and cognitive behavioral therapy. <laughs> Circadian uh, rhythm disorders, Circadian rhythm dis the disorders arise when there is a dis uh, dyssynchrony between your internal circadian rhythm, circadian clock, and external cues that signal daytime and nighttime. This dis dyssynchrony leads to difficulty maintaining a sleep wake cycle with a typical 24 hour period. Central disorders of hypersomnia, uh, som som uh, hypersomnia, idiopathic hypersomnia, recurrent hypersomnia, narcolepsy with cataplexy, narcolepsy without cataplexy. Other causes of hypersomnia are medical conditions, medication, side effects, substance abuse, psychiatric conditions. Circadian treatments. Circadian treatments can be helpful in resetting the offset circadian rhythms of both advanced sleep phase disorder and delayed sleep phase disorder. These include both bright light and melatonergic agents. Melatonergic hypnotics. Melatonin is a neurotransmitter secreted by the pineal gland and acts especially in the suprachiasmatic nucleus to regulate circadian rhythm. These agents improve sleep onset, sometimes better when used for several days in a row. Melatonin and melatonin agonist. Melatonin shifts circadian rhythms, especially in those with phase delay when taken at the desired appropriate bedtime. In all cases, melatonin can facilitate sleep onset. There have, been, uh, there have not been many long-term studies of safety and efficacy, but the existing studies and the lack of reports of any serious adverse events, despite its wide availability, is reassuring. There is no widely agreed dose range of melatonin. Melatonin has a half-life of 45 minutes and circadian, circadian melatonin modified, re re modified release has a half-life of 3.5 to 4 hours. As a result, morning sedation is usually not a problem. Way promoting agents. Caffeine is an antagonist at curing receptors and in particular adenosine receptors. Antagonism of Adenosine receptors by caffeine prevents adenosine from binding there and thus can enhance dopaminergic actions. Amphetamine and methylphenidate. They, both, they are both nor, uh, norepinephrine and dopamine reuptake inhibitors. Amphetamine has the additional property of inhibition of vesicular monoamine transporter 2, which can lead to dopamine release. Enhancing these neurotransmitters in sleep wake uh, circuit can be wake promoting and fatigue reducing. Sodium ox uh, oxybate and narcolepsy, cataplexy. Sodium oxybate is uh, also known as gamma uh, hydroglutyrate and act as a full agonist at GHP receptors and a partial agonist at GABA B receptors. As a GABA B partial agonist, sodium oxybate acts as an antagonist when GABA levels are elevated. 
and as an agonist when GABA levels are low. GHB is actually a natural product present in the brain, which its own G GHB receptors upon which it acts. Sodium oxybate appears to enhance slow wave sleep and reduce hypnagogic hallucinations and sleep paralysis. Thus, rather than improving wake promoting, promoting neurotransmitters as every other treatment for excessive daytime sleepiness dose does, sodium oxybate supposedly makes you sleep so well at night with slow wave sleep restoration that you are not sleeping at daytime. Summary, antidepressants uh, administered at night or switch to a less sedating antidepressants. Antihistamines, older agents crosses the blood-brain barrier, so uh, switch to a newer antihistamines that doesn't real, uh, readily crosses the blood-brain barrier. Antipsychotics, drowsiness is usually dose-related. May uh, It may improve the quality of sleep, but consider an atypical antipsychotic, example, respiridone, olanzapine, where sedation is often less frequent and less severe. Anticonvulsants, uh, they result in daytime drowsiness. So uh, take at bedtime as long release preparation. Benzodiazepine binds to a GABA A receptor in the central nervous system, should be taken at bedtime and limit exposure. Caffeine, avoid after midday. Stimulants, minimize the dose at 8 or 2 p.m. Corticosteroids, take dose in the morning. Selective serotonin re reuptake inhibitors, take the dose in the morning. Switch to alternative. Our choice of medication will, will largely be uh, determined by what time of night the insomnia occurs, difficulty falling asleep. If the problem is purely one of the sleep initiation, it is best to use short-acting medication with a quick concept of action. Zolpidem and melatonin are sensible choices. If there is difficulty in both initiating and maintaining sleep, then the longer-acting drugs such as Zopiclon and Temazepam may, may be better. Difficulty staying asleep. Longer-acting drugs taken at bedtime are the only option currently available. Zopiclon, uh, Temazepam may be useful through early morning waking can still be a problem. Antihistaminergic drugs are often used with good effect. Never, if I could do it, it's a table for the 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 table